Hey everyone, uh, welcome to GPT Together. My name is Charles. So this channel, right, uh, to cut it short, this channel is to find hidden gems uh, hidden in uh, communities like Discord or Reddit that is related to AI, uh, mostly prompts that we can use it in our daily uh, life, daily aspects. Uh. So um, we sometimes we'll try to utilize it uh, creatively, just like the last video where we try to inject uh, we try to feed uh ChatGPT some of the Mr. Beast uh, interview uh videos in YouTube using Vox script and we are able to chat with a simulator Mr. Beast based on the info feeded. So if you guys want to learn more, find more, you guys can check out the channel. Uh. So for today, uh like I mentioned earlier, right? Today is about a prompt that we can use it for uh mid journey. Okay, so but actually there are a lot of prompts out there on uh, actually on YouTube or on TikTok or whatever, right? I mean there are actually a lot of prompts, but prompts are there are a lot of different kinds of prompts uh, because it's just sentence structuring or different words, but it can come out different outputs. Okay, so uh, for this prompt, it's created by Quicksilver again. He was the one who created Quicksilver OS, and it, it, it I think it's a good response. Uh. I mean. It's very useful in, in, in my POV. Uh. So here we go. Um, let's check out this. Th this is the this Discord, okay? So under the prompt library, right? This is the meta IMG that he shared. Okay, so Quicksilver mentioned that this primer prompt is a highly interactive, user-friendly, and dynamic process. Okay, why why did he mention highly interactive, user-friendly? Because uh that, that's the same for Quicksilver OS, but just that this is primarily for mid-journey. Or stable diffusion if you if you need it okay so um over here they are the features right the prompt offers an interactive and flexible experience allowing allowing users to provide input uh ask questions and modifying aspects of the image prompt uh customization is the key with users defining a subject and setting okay so they can adjust the parameters tokens and using priority indicators so if you're new to me journey right all this will be very foreign to you uh, but uh, as we as we as we go over the video right you will find out more about it and uh, it's just quite simple stuff it's just like normal it's just it's actually quite simple to understand uh. so uh quick you mentioned that the benefits of the process uh, the, benef the benefits of this prompt is that the process the the process results in personalized output tailored to users preference and focus on the desired object and setting so enhanced creativity is achieved through vivid description vectors and AI suggestions. So to me, uh, I would like like I mentioned in the, my first video, right, about uh, reviewing about Quicksilver OS, right. To me, my favorite thing about Quicksilver is that he always his 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 perspective is always about making user friendly. So if I if I'm new to if I'm new to prom, right, if, even if I'm new to mid journey, uh, at the point of time I I was new, and I tried using this prom, right, and it's amazing that. Whatever I'm lack of, right, the prompt will ask me. So when the prompt asks me, uh, what else do you need? What kind of style do you want? What uh, what kind of background do you do do you want? Is it a day or night? That kind of stuff, which I will be demoing it later. And that kind of stuff is very important because if, like I mentioned, if uh, if I'm only if I'm only putting in certain inputs that I remember, like example, I want it in uh in the art art style of a certain a certain someone of a certain artist. Uh, Okay, and then I, I didn't put if it's day or night. I didn't put uh what kind of camera is it photorealistic? Is it what what kind of is it? So so without additional info, right? The prompt will only give you what you ask for, and the rest is all random randomizer. But with Meta MJ, right? Everything that, that they all the information that they need for to, to, to make an image prompt, right? They will ask you before they proceed. I'll, I'll, I'll demo it later. So anyway, over here, uh, let's jump to. So over here, it's. Uh... Okay, so over here is still the MJ. Okay, so let's go to GPT four. Open up a new chat, a new page. Okay, I've downloaded. I've downloaded the Meta MJ uh, prom, so I just have to select all, copy, and paste. Okay, so before I start, because plugins are so widely used nowadays, right? Actually, I don't have to use a plugin, but 
I just put it there just in case if I needed anything. Uh. So let's see. Uh, actually, all, all along, right? Because right now, GPT has uh, removed the Bing Bing access, right? As you can see over here, you can't find, you can't really find Bing. Uh. You can't find web, you can't find web browsing. So we have, we still have to use. Uh, but anyway, I don't like Bing. Uh. I mean, I, I'm not a user of Bing. I'm not a fan of Bing. So anyway, I I've always been using Keymate, but recently I I encountered that Keymate right in one chat in one track in one chat right, you can only use Keymate to search, search. Uh, you can only use the web browsing feature in Keymate for three times if I'm not wrong. So when you're using it for the fourth time right, uh, to 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 gather information from the web right, they will ask you to do a click here and there kind of thing, which, um. It's kind of turn off, uh. so I I decided to stop using Keymate, and I'm trying Mixer Box right now and browser, up, but I still haven't tried both yet. So I mean, if it's needed, if it's not, it's fine. But I'm just putting it here in case. Uh. So I'm trying, I'm putting it Mixer Box, uh, full script. If I want to get any uh, additional inspirations from any YouTube videos, uh. okay. So lastly, is still Wolfram. Wolfram is just to access computation, which. It's not really needed, but I just put it here in case because I can use three out of three. So why not, right? So anyway, I, I've copied the, the, the prompt. So let's put it in and then just paste it. It's very simple, actually. So uh, here, here are all the information that Quicksilver has uh, already scheduled out. Uh, so, so let's see what they say. All right, let's create a new image prompt for you. So to start, I will need to know the subject and setting of the image you have in mind. Okay, so what's the subject? Who? What or who is the main focus of the image? A person, an animal, a lemon. So they even give you suggestions. Huh? Okay, so setting where is the sub subject located? A beach, a forest, a, city, a cityscape. So I actually have a Frenchie of my own, a French bulldog. Um, I will try this demo with him. So what or who? A French bulldog. Animal. I hope they know. Uh, so setting where is the subject located? The subject is located, located at home. Okay, like beach, a bit. Beach. Let's see what they say. So I just have to follow the instructions. Uh. So great choice. So now let's do. It's just like a tutorial that. Uh, I mean, that that's the good thing about Quicksilver. Like I said, why the the, the whole user friendly thing? It's really user friendly. Okay, so now let's dive deeper into the details. So number one, for the French Bulldog, what is the Bulldog doing? Playing with a ball? Sleeping? Actually, uh, my, my, my French Bulldog's name is Oreo. And uh, he's sleeping right beside me. Uh, okay, playing. Oh, looking at the camera. Good. Looking at the camera. Do you have a specific color or pattern in mind for the Bulldog? Mine is uh, blue. Lilac on a hey, blue lilac blue lilac tan blue lilac tan okay so for the beach setting what time of day is it day uh sorry uh midday okay are there any specific elements you like to include uh sure why not okay palm trees like Bollywood so over here right as you can see like the way I type in the answer right it doesn't even I don't, I don't even have to put one, two, three, or four. I mean, to all those who are new to ChatGPT, right? You just have to put it in, uh, maybe in the sequential form, or try try your best to make it easier for them, uh, so that we can optimize our results. So let's put it in. Looking at the camera, blue lilac like tan, midday palm trees. So fantastic. So now let's enhance the cam image with some camera and photography aspects. So would you like to specify the type of camera or lens used? Okay, so do you have a preference for the camera angle or perspective? Are there any specific photography techniques or effects you like to incorporate? Okay, so I am I'm not a uh how, how do you say it? I'm not uh what what do you say? Uh I'm not good at I'm not good in cameras or anything like that. I got no experience with it. I'm I only used a, a phone's camera before. So over here, would you like to specify the type of camera? Uh please. So the thing I use is please recommend the best you think it fits my subject. And setting. So do you have a preference for the camera? Okay, so bird eyes view is this is from is from the back, I think. Worm side view. Straight on, bro. Straight on. 
Are there any specific? Like I said, I don't know. Please recommend. I'll give. I'll copy and paste. So I'm a lazy yes. Uh, so that's why I I I I really embrace uh ChatGPT. Are there any? Yeah. So that's. Are there any further things or effects? Nope. Let's go. So over here. Please recommend the best you think. Of course, based on the subject and settings, here are my recommendations. A DSL with prime lens would be ideal for capturing the sharp details. Okay, okay, okay. As you mentioned straight on, this will give you a direct engaging view. Okay, I recommend a shallow depth of field to make the bulldog stand again, stand out against the background. I don't even know shallow depth of field. I don't even know what's that. So anyway, once I ask for the recommendations, right, um, I think I think they just assume, I think MetaMG just assumed that they will incorporate their own recommendations. Uh, do you have any specific colors or tone? Uh, warm. Warm tones. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so I don't, I think warm is some kind of near yellow, orange kind of thing. Would you like to include any other elements? Uh, a beach ball, let's say. Okay, a beach ball. Let's go. Lucky right now, ChatGPT has increased their uh their message limit to fifty messages for every three hours for uh GPT plus users. In the past, we used thirty five messages for every three hours, right? Every time we want, every time we, when I play with ChatGPT, right? When I play halfway, then they will say the limit has been reached. Perfect, warm tone to give. Okay, so before you construct the image prompt, let's finalize a few parameters. So would you? So would you like to use a specific seed or reference image for this prompt? Would you like to use a specific seed? No. Do you have a preference for the image quality? Of course. Hi. No and hi. I just like it. Oh, I just like that. It's how easy it is. But of course, we must see what's the end result of it. So over here, right? Uh, they have already created. Uh, I mean, it's in the midst of creating the prompt. So the prompt, as you can see over here is imagine if you are new to ChatGPT or new to Mid Journey, right? Don't worry, because it's very easy. I'll show you. So Mid Journey, uh, you if you want to use Mid Journey, you have to use it in your Discord. Okay, so in your Discord, you have to go to Mid Journey. Me, okay, just let me copy first. So this is the prompt, huh? This is the prompt. Okay, so the prompt says imagine a captivating image of a blue lilac pen French bulldog. Okay, looking straight in the camera. Uh, set again so as you can see number three number two number two number one so the number the number represents the priority in the prompt so that they know which one is the most important so number three right uh hyphen hyphen i, I don't know if it's a hyphen lab, but i don't watch this anyway hyphen hyphen three right is the top priority of this prompt okay so hyphen two and two both of them have the same priority but they are less important than the whole french bulldog kind of thing so the last, the, the least important is a colorful beach ball nearby. Okay, all bathed in warm tones that we chose. Okay, and the scene captures the essence of a perfect beach day with the Buddha as a star and attraction. So this is his own thinking. Lah. Okay, so once I've I once I copy the prompt, I will go to meet Jenny. Okay, and I will type in imagine. Imagine. And then I will paste the prompt and I will enter. Oh, invalid. Would you like to make any adjustment? If not, you can use it at least. Yeah. Now let's construct your base. Unrecognized parameter. So let's share the problem with uh let's share the problem with ChatGPT. Yeah. So the mid journey says that it's a, it has an invalid parameter. Invalid parameter. The good thing about this is really user friendly. I don't have to explain. If you are if you're using ChatGPT to to generate image prompts for you right they it's very they won't be they i mean you must make them understand in order to optimize your output so for with this prompt with meta mg i don't have to apply to the whole site let's correct that here's a revised prompt let's see let's see how it goes because i'm not, i'm not really good with um with um creating prompts of my own but i understand how it works but uh so ai is 1619 means it's landscape uh, i mean it's the it's the resolution uh. Okay, Q2, uh, let me think. Q2, Q210, right? Zero is low quality, one is, uh, is the quality, la. one is uh, medium quality, Q is, uh, two is highest quality, high quality. Eh? So let's go imagine. Yeah, I don't even know why I know all this. Anyway, you just have to type in slash imagine. 
okay and then paste the prompt of course you must take note that you cannot have this image in here again so once you have the prompt ready right you just have to slash enter and then they will um they will be generating they will be generate they will be waiting to start from the prompt so as you can see is is done uh mid journey has done is fi has finished everything okay so why uh anyway this is just for another time uh. okay mid journey review will be another time but uh it's very fast so why 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 do we have image prompt is to is to have a better uh photo that is generated by mid journey so if those guys they are using they are not using the prompts right they just say create realistic photo of course it's possible it's good also because you are using mid-journey you are not using it on stable diffusion stable diffusion can't can't you can't be giving all this stable, stable diffusion have to be very specific like our prompt okay so anyway the photo is generated it's nice uh i don't think this is blue i don't think this is gray this is like this is like black bro this the fourth the fourth one looks a bit cartoon but i think i think the second one looks okay let me see is this prom satisfactory or would you like so sometimes try right, the prom is a prom but sometimes the problem lies with mid journey so i just have to if i'm unhappy with this four this four photos right that is generated right? i just have to click reset i mean uh I, I, it's either reset or refresh or recycle or whatever so once that that is that right they'll regenerate again but it's not those uh not that those four patterns uh. so in the prom right i mean in, in mid journey right like i said like like they were mentioned like with seat number so let's say let's say picture number one is seat uh seat number 23 picture number two is seat number 1000 okay picture number three is seat number 2000 okay so so if you they will gather they will gather it randomly uh, what, i mean they will generate randomly for a uh, different seat number so once you have a seat number that you like so example i will put i will choose uh u means upscale okay v means uh variance or something uh. so when i press v right they will come up with similar similar photos that are similar to number one that they, the, the seat number is either the same or very near okay so anyway they regenerated for more photos again it looks fake eh? it, it's like not it's not really dsr kind of thing it looks fake eh? it can be handled eh? but uh, let me just show you guys can play it play with it okay i will give you an example so let's say i'm happy with uh i think i think i think this is better let's say i am happy with number three but i don't like this i don't like this photo lah i mean i i like the whole style and everything maybe the, the the whole effect and everything but i don't like this position or this face or this color or this with or this pink uh leash right i just have to press v3 and then they will they will create some other variants that is within the same style of v3 so uh vari vari variations uh, sorry sorry v stands for variations uh. So they are designing the, the the other. It doesn't look really good, lah. But I didn't use it for. So this is the variant the the variations of that particular, uh, seat that I chose. Okay, so they will come up with it randomly. But it, it's not even blue though. Okay, so this that this is the demo for Mid Journey. I mean, uh, we are only using it for Mid Journey, but let's say right i want to i want it like it only earlier that he i mean ChatGPT suggested to me that a dsl camera with a prime lens adds that right i don't want i want a i want it in a painting style of picasso okay I, i've never seen any drawings of picasso I, i've only heard, heard heard him before so understood let's incorporate the picasso painting style into the image prompt so imagine a picasso inspired painting so that is the part i like about uh chatgpt yeah. so they can put it this way so okay the painting number one about a blue lilac 10 french bulldog right is it, the top priority because number three set against the backdrop of a sun lit midday beach number two with a towering palm trees number two and a colorful beach ball number one the scene is bathed in okay warm tones huh? so i copy again imagine Paste. 
Picasso inspired. So let's see how Picasso draws. Uh. Because uh, previously I have another YouTube channel, right? That is specialized in um, specialized in doing uh, video walkthroughs about real history happening. Uh. So so some videos are about the seven wonders of uh, of the world, like the pyramids or whatever, right? So sometimes I'll use Mid Journey to generate uh the some some variations of the photos that happen at the point of year so I, I i can ask i will use the i will use meta mj to generate the prompt and then i'll try to i'll try to scale it over at mid journey so a picasso inspired so this i mean i didn't know picasso picasso style of painting is so it's so cartoon no? it's like very computerized I don't know man maybe the maybe number four is good but this this this, this is the example of meta and gym okay so you guys can play with it i'll be sharing the palm below and you guys can play with it and literally create anything you want and literally just change anything you want so a lot of people have been asking me that if we can use all these palms in uh 3.5 so for quick silver os we have tried and quick uh 3.5 doesn't really give a really uh pleasant results uh. but in gpt4 it's it, it has the best results and a lot of people a lot of people has been creating stuff with quicksilver os and um vox script you, you guys have to use it in gpt4 because gpt 5 is only a simple language kind of thing like. it's just a simple conversation i think you can't really get much out of it so uh for 20 usd a month i think it's quite it's quite um it's quite worthwhile uh. Then you guys can try and um if you guys need like any photos or any any photos that you use in Canva and anything, right, you can just generate over here and you can just edit in Canva. I mean C A N V A uh, Canva is a very good website that was recommended by my friend. And so that's it for today. I'll be sharing more with you guys. Uh thank you for watching and uh, I hope that this prom can serve a purpose and help you guys with all the photo gener generation and everything so uh, actually you guys can ask uh ask uh meta mj right to be photorealistic when you ask it to be photorealistic and you are you have to give them suggestions on how to right they will make like very cool photos uh, but i'm not going it for now i mean like i i'm i'm, I'm not that's not my kind of style uh. so anyway this is just a demo video and i hope that you guys can use it well i'll be sharing the prompt below at the description box and uh enjoy it okay i will see you guys uh in two days bye bye